Well, ladies and gentlemen, the stage is set for a monstrous collision. I hope the ring here in Tampa Bay has been reinforced because it is time for King Kong versus Godzilla for the first time ever here at WrestleMania. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, Omos. The Nigerian giant, the colossal Omos, laid out the challenge. An open contract wanted anybody in World Wrestling Entertainment to step up and fight him here on this stage. And who answered the call? None other than the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. And now here in Tampa Bay, at the Showcase of the Immortals, it is the Giant versus the Beast. For the very first time, Omos locks horn with the alpha male of our species. We've said it before, we'll say it again. I hope this ring is reinforced because there is a monstrous collision coming its way. A match that may topple all of Tampa Bay. Here comes the beast incarnate. The alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar. Big fight feel at one place and one place only, WrestleMania. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. Business has just picked up. Omos wanted a fight and he's got the war of all wars standing ahead of him. Omos has been dominant. He is battle tested and he is fight ready, but there may be no man who fits that motive, who fits that narrative more than the man with that kind of agility, with that kind of strength, with that kind of intimidation more than Brock Lesnar. This is not Brock Lesnar's first stance on this stage. He's won gold here before. He's main evented here before. But tonight is a first time ever meeting against a completely new foe in the Nigerian giant Omos. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. WrestleMania Saturday continues. First time ever. Oh, you hear the crowd here in Tampa Bay. They want Suplex City out of the Beast Incarnate, and they're going to get it immediately. We have seen Brock Lesnar drop Omos with not one, but two F5s the night he returned to Monday Night Raw. Lesnar tried to ambush Omos on Saturday night, main event a few weeks ago, and Omos was ready. He came prepared. He laid out Brock Lesnar dead center of the ring. Then it was this past Monday Night on Raw, Omos went one-on-one -on -one with AJ Styles. Brock Lesnar able to take Omos's eye off the ball and cost him that matchup against the Phenomenal One. A man who we'll see inside of that ring tomorrow night, WrestleMania Sunday. And Omos has got Brock Lesnar down and look at the strength by the Nigerian Giant press slamming Brock Lesnar over his head. There's not many competitors who are stronger than Brock Lesnar. There are not many competitors that are bigger than Brock Lesnar, but Omos may be that superstar. Brock Lesnar getting back into this, at least for a moment, taking Omos off his feet. But if we know one thing about Omos, it might be, it's already difficult to take him off his feet, but keeping him off his feet for a long period of time is a completely different story. We'll see if Brock Lesnar, however, has done his homework on the big man and has a recipe for success here tonight. Amos, a shot to the gut of Brock. We just talked about moments ago how Pete Dunne and Ilya Dragunov was a war of attrition. This one is just going to be a war of the absolute biggest and baddest. Who will survive? 
this first time ever collision. And there's that Alabama slam, the same one he hit on Saturday night's main event, into the cover to defeat Brock Lesnar, not just yet. This will no doubt be the biggest win of Omos's young career if he can defeat Brock Lesnar here at WrestleMania. It's gonna take a lot more than a couple of shots, even if they're coming from somebody with the size and stature of the Nigerian Giant to keep Brock Lesnar down. But this may do the trick. Running boot scrape, and you might find Brock Lesnar's brain all the way up at the top of this stadium. Lesnar kicks out at one, you gotta be kidding me. That keeps down most mortal men. But Brock Lesnar's looking for immortality tonight. Omos, however, looking for the same and will stop at nothing until Brock Lesnar is leaving Raymond James Stadium on crutches tonight. Lesnar countering out Omos. Oh no, Brock Lesnar, the strength to be able to get him off his feet. Kamara lock locked in. How much does he have it on the size of Omos though? The bigger arms. And you see Omos able to battle out of it there, throwing a couple of haymakers. Lesnar locked in that Kimura lock. Omos was able to struggle out of it, but Lesnar is back on his feet and he's swinging for the fences right now. Lefts and rights, followed by a DDT. Back into the cover by the Beast Incarnate. And Omos kicks out at one again. Oh, but Brock ain't done. Brock, Brock's wheels are spinning right now. And Brock Lesnar smells blood in the water. Omos is down. Oh, wait a minute. Lesnar's got him up. The biggest F5 in WrestleMania history. Thanks for coming, Omos. You have been another victim of Suplex City. Brock Lesnar doesn't get paid by the hour. He showed up in Tampa Bay and he got the results he wanted in short order fashion. What an F5 to bring this fight to a conclusion. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar defeats Omos tonight, but I think the grander story is this. Brock Lesnar is back. And now that WrestleMania is coming and gone for the Beast Incarnate, what is next on the agenda of the man we call the alpha male of our species, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar? Hey, song when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.